Singapore generated and recycled more waste last year compared to 2020. Uh, this is economic activity picked up one year after the pandemic first hit the country. And to help it achieve its vision of becoming a zero waste nation, authorities will roll out a new reporting framework for the amount of food waste segregated from treatment. Uh, nearly 7 million tonnes of solid waste was generated last year. This is about 18% more than 2020, but that amount was still lower than 2019. 55% of the waste was recycled in 2021, and that's more than 2020's recycling rate of 52%. But it was also still lower than in 2019. More waste, meantime, was generated by the domestic sector last year, which includes households and trade premises like hawker centres and schools. The increase came as many people continue to work from home. However, the overall domestic recycling rate remained at 13%. Now, looking at the specific types of waste that was recycled, 6% of plastic was recycled last year, and that's up from 4% in the previous two years. An expert says that one reason why the plastic recycling rate remains low is because a lot of plastic waste is contaminated and it just cannot be recycled. The challenge is to educate the consumers and incentivizing them to clean the plastic waste as well as all other waste streams before they throw away. So this enables a better uh, collection as well as uh, a recycling. The percentage of food waste recycled remained at 19% in 2021. Now to further boost this figure, a new reporting framework is going to be launched over 2024 and 2025. It's going to require industrial and commercial buildings that generate large amounts of food waste to measure and report the amount of waste that they've segregated for treatment. The requirements will kick in at the same time as those for food waste segregation announced in 2020. More details will be released later. To achieve our target of reducing waste to landfill per capita by 30% by 2030, we must push for more sustainable consumption and production processes.